Today you're getting an unboxing and a review. Crazy, right? This version of Mothra is male, which is rare, as most incarnations of the character are female. I've always loved this incarnation, specifically for the green used for his wings, something about the colors this time around that I really enjoy. This figure was made in 1997 and based off of Mothra Leo as we saw him in the first two Rebirth of Mothra films. Fun fact. Mothra actually is never referred to by Leo in the entire film. All instances of the character are referred to as Mothra on screen. From what I can gather, the name was widely adopted by American and Japanese audiences due to the title of a song sung by the priestesses in the film. Ohio is a strange, untamed environment, as I found this at a flea market probably like seven, eight years ago maybe? I bought this clearly used as a kid when I was first getting into this type of stuff, so obviously the box is going to have a wee bit of wear and tear on it. With that being said, I love this damn box. The green on the back looks super clean, and if I was a kid running around the toy store in the 90s, I'd have ripped this thing off the shelf in a heartbeat. The front shows us a nice shot of Mothra from the film, and the back contains information that I can't read whatsoever, and images of the figure itself. All around, very nice box from Bandai. Love it. He is pretty much only held in with another piece of cardboard, which gets the job done fair enough. I would be careful where you store these though, as the wings are made out of a hard plastic and may snap if you put too much pressure onto it. Please, please don't break your things. Originally, the legs would have come unattached on a sheet of plastic like any other model kit. All you'd have to do is just twist them off and attach them to the bottom of the toy. You also need to attach the wings like so. This isn't hard, but again, I would recommend being careful with these. Once assembled, Mothra Leo looks fantastic. The wings are translucent since they are made with this plastic and look great when light shines through them. The green is definitely what attracted me to this specific figure in the first place. I just think this design works. I like colors on my Mothra. The paint on this figure is limited, but it works as this was intended to actually be played with and bashed around by kids. A lot of the whites you see aren't actually painted at all. Most of the color you'll be getting is on the wings, legs, and rear abdomen. The eyes are done pretty nicely, which is always something to note with Mothra figures. However, since the plastic used here is translucent, you can see right through it and actually see the peg that attaches it to the head. Speaking of the rear, it's made of a softer, almost silicone material, maybe it's a vinyl, I'm not really sure, which brings me to the selling point of this toy. When you push down on his abdomen, Mothra's wings flap and you can fly him all over your room and just have the time of your life. This is a case of a figure with a gimmick that also doesn't stand out amongst other figures in your collection and fits in quite well, actually. This figure also came with this little toy booklet that's super fucking rad. I love these types of books, even if I can't exactly read all of the information, and these are a treat to flip through. It's like a little time capsule from Japan. Do you think these kids had a clue what they were even doing? Ultraman Tiga up here looking dope? Hey, I have that. There's a page with some Rebirth of Mothra stuff, Gamera stuff, and there's an entire page dedicated to Mega Man X3. Hell yeah. Always loved the art style Capcom used here. With a wingspan of nearly 11 inches, the only thing you'd have to worry about when displaying this figure are the wings themselves. For size comparison, here Leo is next to the Bandai 8-inch Mothra Larva, the Bandai 40th Memorial Box Batra Larva, the Bandai Tokyo SOS Mothra, and lastly the Final Wars Gigant from SH Monster Arts. While decently fragile and harder to find in mint condition, this figure still stands out on his own as a great representation of the character. A very vibrant Mothra, this one is sure to please those who like a bit of color on their shelves. That's it for today's review everyone! If you enjoyed this video then don't forget to scroll down and give it a big ol' like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. While you're down there, be sure to follow that link in the description to check out my Instagram page where I post daily and provide behind the scenes updates to the channel. Thank you everyone once again, and I'll see you next time.